Hey everyone, my name is Megan and today I'm going to be reacting to the trailer for Dear Evan Hansen and I can't even tell you how excited I am. This, I think, I think this is my favorite Broadway musical. Like if I had to rank them, this is, Dear Evan Hansen would be number one. A close second would be Come From Way, if not Tide, um, followed by Legally Blonde probably, which I, I haven't seen Legally Blonde live, but throughout this pandemic I've probably watched the recorded version on YouTube like five times. I'm probably gonna watch it a lot more before all of this is over anyways. I know a lot of people like this musical too and a lot of people say it's overrated but I just I just love it a lot okay. I watched it um, back in February last year when it was touring here. Going into it I had listened to the songs and the soundtrack hundreds or like thousands of times but I knew that not the entire story is told in the songs so there were still a lot of surprising moments and just the way that the story is crafted and put together and it like it's totally different listening to the songs just on Spotify and actually being able to watch the characters the actors emote on screen I think watching this was the most I'd ever cried in any public setting close second would be watching the farewell at the theaters I'm so glad the theater was like all dark though so no one could could see me cry but they could probably hear it thinking like oh, what's wrong with that girl but it's just a lot of emotions okay from the characters to the story there's just so much emotion so much going on everything was so impactful and all the important themes that it touched on too from social media to mental health to feeling lonely and like family relationships everything was just it was just so sad I can't believe people around me weren't crying like my friend was crying just as hard as I was but everyone else seemed to like be able to rein it in or I was just like sobbing too much and I couldn't hear them but 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 I'm sure like it impacted people differently and everyone had something different to take away from it anyways okay let's get let's get to the trailer Dear Evan Hansen, today is going to be an amazing day, and here's why. Have you been doing those letters to yourself with Dr. Sherman? Oh, his Up hair. <laughs> Have you ever felt like nobody was there? Um, no one's on your cast. Now we can both pretend we have friends. The song in the background. I can't. This is where I cried the most. It's like, <laughs> No, he's good. <laughs> Also the worst part. <laughs> Oh, 
I feel like it really captured the the essence of watching the musical. I, I don't even know where to start. I feel like having that soundtrack in the back, and it's not like regular background music, it's the actual soundtrack. Like they were singing You Will Be Found. It, I don't know, it already gets you in the feels right away. I love how since Ben Platt is reprising the role of Evan, they just made his hair messier and curly so that he would blend in and look younger but how how did they somehow make him seem young and old at the same time <laughs> i feel like it seems fine when i watch it because i've associated ben with evan for so long like i've seen so many clips on youtube about it and when you think of evan hatson you see ben platt most of the time um but i wonder for people who haven't seen the musical or isn't as familiar with dear evan hansen if they're gonna look at him and be like wow why does he look so old <laughs> I, don't, I don't know i know people in high school musical weren't high school age but ben's like what he's like 26 27 and so he looks so young in this as well i'm so happy that there's so many movie musicals out there now like the greatest showman prom in the heights coming out soon and and i guess <laughs> every Disney movie out there that has songs and music. Like it's so nice that there's so many of these Broadway productions and shows being shown on the screen now where all these characters and songs and these stories can be can like reach a wider audience and be more accessible to 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 more people. Man, I know I'm gonna cry so hard watching this. I just know it. I feel it. But which isn't a bad thing. It means it's like it it conjures up emotions in you so you like either relate to the characters or you can connect to the story which is great oh i'm not ready i'm gonna have to bring like an entire tissue box to the theaters when it comes out hopefully when we can watch it in theaters um but yeah that's what i thought about the trailer let me know what you thought thanks for watching bye Um, hello, I'm just editing this video right now and I realized that I didn't talk much about the trailer during or after like I didn't really dive into the details because I got I got too much into the feels and the emotions of it but, 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 but just know that I'm excited for it. Okay, okay, thanks. Bye.